Mr. Lear, should I open the door? Toby, yes, please. Okay, I will welcome our guest. So, now we can see that uh, Toby opens the door, the guest is coming in, and will be guided with this multi-robot cooperation. These small robots do a handover of the person, tracking it in the map, and yeah, Toby will arrive and take over the human robot interaction. Hello, I am Toby. What is your name? My name is Michael. Is Michael correct? Toby, yes. Okay, I will call you Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. What is the reason of your visit? I want to see the new robot. Okay, I will bring you to Mr. Lear in the living room. I hope you have a nice stay. So, now all of these small robots drove again back to their starting position. Um, let me say that these robots were introduced last year to RoboCup at home by our team as a nice addition for students or newcomers to learn. Hello, Mr. Lear. I met Michael in the corridor and escorted him to the living room. The reason for his visit is he wants to see your new robot. Do you want me to do anything else for you? No, Toby. Thank you. Okay, I will wait. Yeah, what we could see now was uh, some new features we introduced this year that our robot is able to remember tasks that he has done. So, he um, took the task from this career to go over there, welcome the guest, learn the face, assign a name to that person, and then, um, yeah, after he does all that, or did all that, he, um, yeah, can uh, give a report to his operator and say what he has done. And this was already performed uh, by our team in the general part of the service robot with really complex tasks, so this is just an example for that. Hi Michael, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Nice. 
You said you want to see a new robot, right? Of course. That's the one there. Do you, you want to read some? Yes. Okay. You can actually shake his hand. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's correct. 
plates. Okay, okay it tries the top graph. Yeah, that's actually because we have qualities for this and maybe the orientation and the closeness was Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, so we are going to be question answering 1430. Are there questions? So this just uh, movement to those practice a lot. Is the utility part, is that the section or is that part that you have to plan uh, for movement for a more complex algo respect to the Okay, um, we are as question is for on generating the graphs. So what we really do is calculating the graph for these objects, like only the end position of the effector, like this we, we want to add. So um, this is what um, Florian just said, what uh, was developed in our lab. But then um, the trajectory planning for the arm is done with standard move itself. And this is what we just saw, took some while to calculate and so on, because, yeah. But we are actually giving multiple graphs, so um, if one cannot be reached by the arm because it's too wide outside, then it will be rejected and another one will be tried. And another question is about this whole The goal of the small robot is to bring mobile robots to students or newcomers because they are really similar to the big ones. They have um, a platform which is used to drive and they have a laser scanner on top to do actual slam and mapping and yeah, navigating with that and um, we saw that they use the laser to track legs in the scans, to recognize people walking around and um, to add this information to the data systems like these two robots. Do they have also interfaces for human robot interaction? Yes, um, they have speaker on them, so they can even talk to people. They have a small microphone, but um, yeah, as they are pretty small, you have to put them in a table and do some tabletop robotics with them, where they come close to you and you put, put something on them and yeah, talk to them. Yeah. So that's the time about the robotics online, because I can buy the spiders and find the platform for the absolute talisman. Uh, thank you for the demonstration. Uh, I was wondering, the uh, compliance of the robot part, is this uh, automatically, does it happen automatically if I touch it or, yeah? Yeah, the uh, robot is always somewhat compliant, so the arms are not completely stiff, and, um, but what the level was about is that you, um, or that we developed a way to modify the stiffness on the fly like um, having a really um, um, yeah, forgiving or loose arm and shaking the hand and um, really to have soft fingers while clothing and then after um, releasing it gets stiff again to really reach the um, uh, goal position again. I was more uh, uh, wondering whether it's uh, say if it's not pursuing some kind of grasping you have to bump into it or that kind of stuff. That's, that's where it's still compliance. You have to change the compliance of the Yeah, it always has some kind of compliance, but you can um, uh, change the level of the system. So even if it's pretty stiff, it still stays somewhat um, movable. Yeah, very much. But if I have a nasty, if I have a nasty, if I have a nasty, Another question. Can I clear in your Yeah. Okay, so this completes the final for the at home competition. Thank you all for seeing. Thank you very much uh, for the students. And thank you very much for the
Gordian Schwarzenegger. 